Very good evening, everyone. So today I'm here to talk about a problem that most of the candidates, whether section one or section two, they encounter. So you might have a good concept on a topic, but when you are seeing five options in front of you during a SBA or part one exam, you start finding it difficult to recall. You start finding confusion between two options. When you are in the Viva, you have a time limit. You can't fumble a lot. Your communication has to be fluent and should be confident. And when you are not able to recall something, the confidence starts decreasing. For this, there is a solution. And that is what I always encourage is make mnemonics for this. Okay. And even in your Viva, don't let the examiner know that uh, you have a mnemonic for it. But it should allow you to give a very systematic answer. I'll give you an example today. As you can understand, today we are going to talk about the metabolic changes in the different urinary diversion techniques. So you do the different bowel segments in the urinary diversion after a radical cystectomy or whether you are doing an augmentation cystoplasty, you use the different bowel segments. So metabolic changes occurs and that varies depending on the different bowel segments. Okay, so it's difficult to recall suddenly if they tell you which bowel segment will lead to hyperkalemia. If you take up colon, what are the changes which happen? So we will just make it very simple and I'm going to give you an emanate that for the next two minutes that will help you in remembering things for a longer time. So the advantage of an emanic is not only it makes your task easier, but also helps you in remembering things for a long time so that the second revision becomes easier. Otherwise, every reading, if you don't have an MNA, if you don't have a systematic arrangement for a preparation, your second preparation, you find that everything looks new. So therefore, please start making mnemonics as much as possible. Let us take up this. Suppose uh, the common bowel segments are, you can use stomach for your diversion. You can use an jejunum. Okay. You can use an ileum or a colon. We are keeping ileum and colon together because they have the same metabolic complications. Now, the basic rule is, which I always tell, the basic rule for a metabolic abnormality is, whatever segment you pick up, only one of the component is going to be elevated. Just after one minute, we are going to talk about that rule. Let us take up what are the things, what are the metabolic electrolytes we are supposed to know, what are the components we are supposed to know. So number one, we are going to talk about the pH. Number two, about the sodium, about the potassium, about the chloride. So these are the four things we should know whenever a segment of bowel is concerned. Okay. So I'll write the stomach here, number one. Jejunum here, number two. Ileum and colon, number three. Now coming to the rule. The basic rule is whichever segment you pick up, only one component will be elevated in that segment. The rest of the component will be decreased. So if I tell you, if we talk about the stomach, if one of the component has to increase, then that is the pH and rest all of the components will be decreased. So if you have to talk about the metabolic complication in the stomach, you will see that there is metabolic alkalosis with hyponatremia, with hypokalemia with hypochloremia. You definitely, you have concept that the patient loses sodium, potassium and hydrogen ions. So hydrogen ions and uh, chloride with the stomach, okay? When there is a stomach diversion, so there is alkalosis. But when you are on the MCQ, when you are solving the MCQ, when you are speaking in the viva, sometimes they don't take you to the concept. You just have to eliminate the metabolic problem, okay? So you have to be very straightforward that this is the metabolic problem seen in stomach. If there is one component which has to be elevated in jejunum, that is the potassium. Rest all the components will be decreased. So in jejunum, what do you find? There will be metabolic acidosis. And what type of metabolic acidosis will be there? There will be hyponatremic, hyperkalemic, hypochloremic, metabolic acidosis. So please try to remember this. It's very, very important. Which component is elevated in jejunum? Don't confuse. What about ileum and colon? So if you take up this, one component will be elevated, rest all will be decreased. So again, if one component which has to be elevated in ileum and colon, that is the chloride, rest all will be decreased. So in ileum and colon, what do you find? You find a metabolic acidosis because the pH is low, with hyponatremia, hypokalemia, and hyper 
hypochloremia. Okay. So please try to remember it this way so that you don't make mistakes in your viva. You don't make mistakes in your single best answers. And if you look at this, this is taken from a standard textbook. So this is what even the textbook says, but it becomes difficult when you read the textbook. Metabolic alkalosis, that means the pH is elevated in stomach. Rest, everything is low, even the sodium will be low. What happens in jejunum? There will be metabolic acidosis. Definitely the only thing that is elevated is potassium. What happens in ileum and colon? Everything will be low except chloride, which is elevated. Rest, everything will be low. Okay. So the rule is one of the component will be elevated. One of the component is elevated. And if you take up the diversions, there is no overlap. Like you don't find potassium elevation both in stomach or jejunum. So we talk about only one component in stomach that is pH elevated. And we don't talk about pH elevation in any of them. We talk about potassium elevation in jejunum and we don't talk about potassium elevation in any of them. Alum and colon always try to study them together. And chloride is elevated in them and it's not elevated in the rest of the stomach and the jejunum. So it's going to help you, trust me. And uh, there are a lot of mnemonics. I'll be uploading, I'll be talking about in the classes. Let me know whether you find it useful. Thank you. See you.